Welcome to my kitchen again. I am going to talk about a few things just before I get started making my dinner for tonight. Uh, so if you see my post before, then you've seen that I literally typed in fish, because fish is what I pulled out of the freezer earlier, and went through all the recipes on a your site and found what I'm going to make. So I'm not going identical. If you're popping on, say hello. So I'm not going to follow the exact recipe that they said. I'm going to mix the two together and try to alter it as my own. That is the best thing about Epicure is that you can modify all of their meal solutions, all of their recipes to what fits your needs. Okay, so just before I get started here, I'm going to show you some. So I will be using the taco seasoning um, as suggested in one of the recipes. There's, I'm not using these, but I want to show you these because they're in stock and a lot of people don't look at the seasonings. They look at the meal solutions and the dips. So there's um, roasted garlic, there's fajita in a jar, uh, there's the chicken broth that is now back in stock, there's roasted, smoky roasted tomato, which is a nutritional yeast. Um, great for getting those extra uh, nutrition and as a topper. We've got marinara, which makes your own marinara sauce. Great for seasoning as well. And cedar dressing, which I absolutely love. I made the um, spaghetti squash with chicken and cedar dressing. Oh, it was so good. All right, so I'm going to get started. I'm gonna make my dinner in, let's say, three minutes for the fish, and I'm gonna make rice as well afterwards. So it's gonna be, it's three minutes in the microwave for rice, but then it's like two minutes for it to sit and finish cooking, right? So in total, it will be about not even 10 minutes. So first, here's my steamer. I am going to put my veggie, my veggies that I've already cut up and everything, into the bottom of the steamer. And then I'm going to place the tray on the top of them. So there's no need to add water or anything. Okay, so that's that. And then my fish, I'm going to take it out. And I'm just going to rinse it. Okay. And then we're going to put it on. Now I do have the lemon dilly, which I was going to put on, um, which I think actually will be really nice. I'm gonna change my mind. So I don't exactly know, maybe I'll do, I have two pieces of lemon, that's what I'll do. I'll put one with taco seasoning. Okay, so we'll put that right in there. Okay, so I've got one fish in the steamer. I'm going to use my four one. Oh, a lot. Okay, so then I'm gonna sprinkle on the seasoning, and I will use my brush to brush it around. That way I can get my fingers all dirty. Around. I might have brushed it around better. So there's that one. I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. So I'm touching too much. Okay, there's that. I'll just show you what I'm doing here. I'm literally just brushing it around, spreading it all over the dish. Okay, so there's one seasoned. Now I'm not going to use the same brush. Uh, I could just rinse it off, but I want to make sure that I'm getting the proper flavoring. So we've got here some lemon dilly, which you can get on its own, or you can buy it in the trio set um, to make the extraordinary taste. So I'm going to place the other one in here. Do the same thing. Scoop some, and sprinkle it on. This one a lot more. So I will show you here. So I'm just going to spread it around. This one smells really good. Like it is so powerful. Okay. And then I'm going to flip it over. And I will repeat on the other side. So if you're popping on, say hello. Let me know you're here. I am making fish, vegetables, and rice in the steamer. I am using two different seasonings for my fillets. I'm brushing on the lemon dilly currently right now. I previously did brush it on uh, some taco seasoning. So that's both of them. And underneath this is the tray, and then under the tray is the vegetables. So now I need my lid. Make sure that the lid is on tight. I will, so you can see it pops off. Uh, so when I put it in the microwave, I'll just make sure it's down tight. So that is in the microwave for three minutes. I am, after it's done, I'm gonna make my rice, which um, two cups of rice to two cups of water is another three minutes. And then it sits for a couple of minutes as rice needs to sit normally. Um, and then voila, dinner is done. I could be doing so many other things right now. Um, doing it this way instead of on the stove where I have to watch it constantly is pretty good. Um, I have never made fish in the microwave before, so I will let you know how it tastes. Uh, veggies are really good. Potatoes are really good. I've done bacon. I've done a lot of stuff in the microwave, and so far the steamer just holds it all in and keeps it moist, and it's delicious. So I'm going to show you a few more products while we wait. Uh, toasted onion is another one that is really good. Uh, the three onion that comes in the trio as well. I love this one. I put it in my eggs. I put it all of like in your potato salad. Anything that you would put green onion or chopped onion in, that's what it's great for. Because literally that is what it is. You can see pieces of green onion and onion in here, and it's just dried out so it lasts longer. Um, the SPG, that is my absolute favorite. Um, it's so underrated. It, SPG stands for salt, pepper, and garlic. So 
All you do is use a tiny little sprinkle, like so the smallest lip size on the 4 of one uh, measuring spoon, I use like a quarter of it. And it, the flavoring is so strong, it's amazing. All the temperatures, spices, and seasonings that I've tried on their gifts, the flavor, even their meal solutions, the flavor is phenomenal. Like, definitely not lacking in the flavor department, that's for sure. Um, so there's also nacho cheese. So instead of it legally, which is currently sold, uh, unavailable, sold out, um, there's nacho cheese, which is similar. Uh, you just gotta mix a few more ingredients together and it gets your nacho deal. Another good one. I've got the CCB, which comes in the trio as well. So I was asked a few times what CCB stands for, and it's cheddar, chives, and bacon. All right, so that's where you get all the yummy goodness from. So the trio that I keep mentioning is your CCB, your lemon dilly, and your three onions. Now, they make the extraordinary cheese dip trio. So you can buy them all in one, and you can press the card, or you can buy them as separate. So we're just waiting on the microwave. Um, two seconds. There we go. All right, so let's have a look here. Here we go. It kind of surprises me that three minutes is all it needs, but let's open it up. So. I can smell it. I wish you guys could smell it. I don't know how to test this other than to break it open. So I am going to put it in longer. Now my fish wasn't completely thawed. Um, I didn't read the full instructions in the, or the preparation in online. So they may have been using uh, thawed chicken or thawed fish. And my fish is not exactly completely thawed. So I'm going to put it in for a little bit longer. If you're watching, say hello. I'm making fish, vegetables and rice in the most perfect steamer. They're in the microwave currently. I just realized that my fish was not completely thawed and I think that's why it needs a few minutes longer. So I've got it back in the microwave for a few more minutes. I have showed you a lot of um, seasonings and products that you can check out. They're, they're very good, they're very flavorful. Um, all of them are gluten-free, all of them are sodium conscious, which is big because sodium is in literally everything we eat and drink. And uh, it's something that we should be watching for. Um, yeah. So I think what I'm gonna do is instead of keeping you online here, I'm going to end the video and if you watch the replay, hashtag replay, and I will post a picture when I'm done. So as I said, it's in there for another three minutes and uh, then I'm gonna make my rice and I will be eating my dinner and I'll give you my review when it's done. All right, thank you for popping on to everyone that did pop on. Hashtag replay when you watch it. Check out all my lives, videos that I've previously done under pop, uh, post topics and uh, comment, say hello. I was so excited. I had to come back on and I wanna show you, oh my goodness. So I literally put it in for three more minutes and the steam was unreal. I think that's how you know when it's done is the steam is like, there's lots of them. So check this out. I am going to put my fork in at this time. So last time I put my fork in, it didn't really do anything. Oh, oh shit, ogres. Uh oh. I just dropped one on the floor. Okay, so put the fork in and look at it, it just falls apart. Simple. So that's how you know it's ready. And that's it. So now I'm gonna take this out and uh, I will put it on my plate. So, and then I'll show you the veggies underneath. So the veggies are there underneath and I will poke them too. So, sorry. They're good as well. It depends how you like your veggies. Some people like them a little. Uh, crunchier, some of them like them softer, so depending how you like your veggies. And then I am going to pop these fish in there. Get a little bit of juice from the fish and from the veggies. Take note, I'll put them on my plate. And I'm now going to put my rice in there. So, I'm going to do two cups of rice. So, one cup of rice and two cups of rice. And then I will do two cups of water. One cups of water. No, no. I dropped a piece of fish on the floor, like one of the really good ones, and a lot of it, and now my dog wants to eat it. <laughs> I don't blame him. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. So this is the taco one. I'm just going to set it aside. And I will wash my hands. My dog doesn't typically eat yet human food. Um, it's a little piece dropped on the floor. Well, then it's his, so he thought the entire piece of fish was his. No, I think I said chicken earlier. I'm sorry. Okay, so carry on with the, the rice. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> okay, so there's rice. We're going to put a scoop margarine in there. And that's it. So I'm gonna put uh, the lid on the steamer and I'll throw that in the microwave for three minutes as well. And then I'll wait like two minutes for it to fluffen up. Three minutes. And that is my dinner. So I've got a lot of veggies here because I was planning on making two meals. Uh, but I'll show you my plate. Okay. So, so far, that's my plate. A nice yummy lemon dilly white fish with vegetables made in the steamer. And it was six minutes because my fish was still a little bit frozen. And then my rice will come after. I did make a fish, if you didn't hear, I did make a fish with taco seasoning um, that fell on the floor. <laughs> so I, uh, I'll still try it and I'll let you know how it goes, but it was completely cooked, everything tastes good. Thank you for popping on and being in my kitchen of mayhem with me. <laughs> Hashtag replay and have a good night, everyone.